Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Face Temper, and this is uh, my first ever post of a different video game, I think. Um, I'm not sure if I've posted another video game in the past. I don't think I have, but this game, uh, it's called Nexus, and it's a new arcade game, and it's, I mean, my first impression of it. Well, before I get into that, let me uh, tell you guys how I started playing it. Uh, I went to the Machinima offices in Los Angeles, and uh, I uh, met up with Hex, Optic Hex, and we uh, we played this game. It was just both of us on one screen, and uh, we took turns, you know, like, the, um, if you've seen his commentary about it, like, he was talking about it, and, um, you know, just, that was the first time I met him, um, and this was, well, my first impression of this game was, like, First of all, I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> like it just looks so completely different because I'm so used to Call of Duty, not playing anything else. Never really gave anything else a chance. But this game is very, very fast-paced, uh, as you can see. But after a little while of playing, you will get used to it. You know, you just got to forget about that Call of Duty mentality, and that's what I have. So, um... The more I was playing it, the more I started liking it, you know, and uh, right here, that's a sniper, the next. Um, if you want to pick stuff up, you just got to walk over the guns. And uh, the hip fire in this game is really good. The scoping for the sniper, it's not, you know, it could be a lot better. Like, it's, it's very sticky, as uh, Hex also said in his commentary, you know, uh, it doesn't match up with the enemies, doesn't line up. What's that called? <clears throat> oh, I forgot the term for it. Anyways, you know, uh, I was having a lot of fun playing this game. Right now, I'm playing against bots. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to go ham. This is a pretty good gameplay. I don't remember the score. I think it was... Actually, I completely forgot to score this game. Um, that was a shotgun I was just using. Uh, that's the Mortar. It's like... Almost like a little rocket launcher. Yeah, you know, I was trying to 360, you know. Still getting used to the sensitivity. Um. <clears throat> yeah. I tried playing this game online uh, yesterday for the first time. And yesterday was when I got this gameplay. And uh, I got the gameplay after I went online. When I went online, I was still getting used to it, and I wasn't doing that well, so that's why I got, you know, a game for the computer. And the game just came out, it's only 800 Microsoft points, that's really cheap. It, there's like, how many levels? I think there's like six levels. Um, oh, check out that trip feed on almost. Yeah. So there's a lot of levels, and usually 4v4, I think it's always 4v4. There's a lot of guns in this game, and a lot of, um, the thing that's different from this game than any other game is the mutators. And the mutators are basically, you could relate them to killstreaks in Call of Duty, except you pick them up, and they're always, like, random. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but in the bottom right of my screen, once I pick up a mutator, something will pop up in the bottom right of my screen with three different options, and you get to pick which one, which mutator you want. Now, a lot of them are like random. Uh, there's lots of very different mutators. I know that in uh, this one game I get this one called the Vampire. And uh, that's one of the best mutators I would say. Because the Vampire does is... Well, before I get into Vampire, I don't know if you noticed me picking up the green stuff. Uh, the green, like, diamonds or whatever, that's for your shield. On the bottom left of my screen, you can see my health bar and my shield bar, uh, my defense bar. And my health bar is all the way up right now. You can see my defense bar is going up because I just picked up some... Uh, I don't really know what they're called, so I'm just going to say green diamonds. Um, just picked up some more right there. And the mutator I was talking about, Vampire, basically it's whenever you... Uh, shoot someone, the amount of damage that you took from them goes into you for your health. 
So um, basically, even if you spray and pray, you know, you're just going to be adding to your health. So, you know, it's really unlikely that you're going to die if you're, you know, at least good at this game. And at this point when I got this gameplay, I would consider myself pretty good at it. You know, I got used to it quickly. I started playing, I put the sensitivity up. It's not as fast as Call of Duty, still for mine. And, um, you know, this gameplay, I was just trying to have a solid score as well as try to be as offensive as possible. Uh, that's the clan cutter, and it just fires a lot of little like, grenades. <clears throat> and uh, I really like the sniper in the game. I, I ran a couple trip feeds with it before, like no scoping. It's really fun to use. Um, it's hard to quick scope with it, or drag scope. Uh, see, that's the mutator I just picked up. It's regen. It regenerates the health super fast, like it says on the bottom. Now you see that my whole screen is green because I'm regenerating my health. And uh, is that a mutator right there? Yeah, it is. Uh, if you saw that on the top of that bridge, in between the gap, you have to jump and get it. Scott, it's a uh, pretty well even game. When I played it the first time, it was a lot like uh, different. They were still having like some patches done, but they fixed them. I think that guy has a regen thing too because he was going green. Well, that was a hit marker. That would have been a nice little two piece. But um, it's nice to come to this game after playing like a lot of Call of Duty. If, if you're stressed from Call of Duty, you're not having as much fun as you used to, you should definitely. Just try out this game for a little bit. You know, I really recommend this. I'm not just saying it like it's actually really fun. Uh, it's nice to have like a change up in a while. And once you play this, since it's so fast paced, when you go back in Call of Duty, like Call of Duty is going to be like a lot slower to you, and you're going to do a lot better. So I recommend if you want to get better at COD, you could try getting like good at this game, and then you're going to be great at COD. Because um, since your mind is so used to like the speed of this game, it gets your brain like thinking a lot faster. You're using a lot more of your brain. I don't know how I didn't die right here. Or did I die? Yep, I did. I spoke too soon. Where's that uh, vampire mutator? Is that is it this game? I'm not sure. See, um, I don't know if you saw it in the bottom run rest screen just right before I got strength. There were three mutators, but I chose strength. Look at that shit, I'm just taking people down. Trip feed right there. There's strength for you. That was a nice shot. Ah, I got lucky there. Um, I ended up saving this clip, actually. That's why the game ended. Like, I, The end of this commentary is not the end of the game, so I'm sorry for that. I wish uh, I recorded the whole thing. I just wanted to keep that clip with the rockets. Now I got double jump, and uh, it is what's it is what it is. You know, double jump. You're gonna jump twice, or twice as high. <clears throat> Pretty sick. There's also one called low grab, and that's probably like one of my favorites. Or uh, jetpack, and you get to hover around, like fly around, and if you have the the next, the sniper, uh, it's really. It's fun to go around like sniping people in midair because you're gonna be flying around with a jetpack. But there's lots of different mutators in this game. I'd say it's a very, you know, it's something that a lot of people should try, just experience it once. Because uh, I myself never touched anything else besides Call of Duty, and this game is about to end because, well, the clip's about to end. So I'm just ending it here, even though the game just ended, still going. Um, you know, it's been Face Temper, and I hope you enjoy this commentary. Peace.